a 4 a.m. wake up and a pre-dawn departure for the location, the mood in the team was very different to what it would have been on, on another day, on a game capture or a relocation or a veterinary job. One could sense a quiet, almost introspective mood. A dehorning, however many you've experienced, is never a light thing to see. In today's case, uh, the job involved a very special blind southwestern black rhino called Munu, along with uh, three white rhinos, one an adult with uh, a truly iconic and magnificent horn. His head's dropping, but give him a little bit of time. And on the team were APU guys and foundation people who had extremely special bonds with all of these animals individually. So uh, not an easy day. Dehorning is not a solution. Uh, it's not a long-term solution. We've got to understand that dehorning is buying us time. Uh, if we're getting to a point where the only thing that is standing between a rhino being poached and it surviving is men with guns and dehorning, then everything else has failed and we are effectively in a state of triage. I think it is just such a huge testimony to the carers and to the veterinary teams and to everyone that has been involved in his care. Uh, the level of kindness, the level of compassion and professionalism with which we conducted the operation this morning was, was quite inspiring. But at the same time, if we've become so good at dehorning rhino, you can imagine how good the poachers have become at poaching them. So it's a skill we wish we never had. <laughs>